Well, on face value, the drive by Blake Fitzpatrick behind Jarl O'Neill and taking out the consolation of the Metropolitan TAB Championship last week was full of merit. Just a typical Blake Fitzpatrick drive. Cool, calm and collected. Scratch the service and there's a lot more merit to the drive than first thought. I caught up with Blake to explain why. Well, Blake, as I mentioned in the introduction, uh, below the surface there was a lot more going on as far as that drive behind Jarl O'Neill last week, which was just perfect. About five or six weeks ago, I said to you, Tish, you're limping badly there. Blake, you want to take up the story? Yeah, no, five weeks ago yesterday, actually, at home, I got tipped out. I was just driving a filly, and uh, she bucked and tipped me out, and I got my leg caught in the crossbar of the sulky and got dragged. And, yeah, anyway, I didn't think too much of it at the time, but as the days went on, it got sore and sore, and after a couple of weeks, I ended up getting an X-ray, and, yeah, it found out that my leg was broken, so... It's, uh, yeah, slowed me down for the last five weeks, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It was only a week or two ago that I said, geez, that limb's getting worse, and that's when you revealed that you had the broken leg, but it is on the mend. Yeah, it's getting better every day. It's probably another two or three weeks till I'll be right, but I was probably fortunate enough for the first two weeks when they didn't realise it was broken. Um, I was able to keep working, and then it was too late to have plaster on, so, yeah, I've been able to push through and carry on. Geez, that's a big effort when you've got a big team of paces and, and trotters to prepare and also the gallopers. Yeah, no, I definitely didn't have time for it to go into plaster, so I dodged a bullet there and, um, yeah, it just gets uncomfortable at times, but, yeah, I've had worse. This is the times when you wish Zara already had a licence. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I wish I could fast forward 12 months, but, um, yeah, wor worse things will happen, I'm sure, Mick. It was a good win by Jal O'Neill. Blake, he had been building up to a performance of that kind. Yeah, he just, he was... He's disappointing the week before in the heat. He probably led and just probably did a little bit too much work early. But, yeah, Saturday night it all panned out perfectly and he got the right trip. And, yeah, he's a, he's a nice horse. He should get through his classes here. And no doubt on Saturday night in the last race, he's drawn nicely in gate five. It is a wide open race. He should be competitive. Yeah, absolutely. That's the beauty of him. He's only lightly assessed, so he can work his way through the classes before he's thrown in the deep end too quickly here. And... 2300 Saturday night, that's ideal for him. He better step aside, draw next to him. Once again, probably a nice exacta player. Yeah, he's a consistent Menangle horse and he's probably a touch disappointing here last week, but up until then he's been racing really well from bad draws. Saturday night's the first time he's drawn good in a long time, so he'll be in the finish. And in recent weeks, Blake, you've had an important new addition to the stable. Yeah, Sebastian Piltz. He started with me about four weeks ago now and uh, yeah, he's getting used to the system at home and he's come from Robbie and Kerry Ann who he'd spent over 12 months with, I think, and they taught him a lot and gave him plenty of opportunities. So, yeah, he's just come to my place to learn how we do it and um, learn the galloping side of it as well. Well, he's a very keen, enthusiastic young man. Yeah, he loves the industry and uh, he loves driving. Um, so hopefully he can get a few more race drives and kick on in that department and get his Metropolitan licence. Speaking of the gallops, you had a run and go around at Kembla in the early races today at a very expensive and high-profile stable hand looking after him. Yeah, yeah, I had Dad there looking after the horse, so, um, yeah, which is great. I can always ask Dad if I'm stuck, if I've got to come here to Menangle, but, yeah, he loves the gallopers as well and he always follows them, so, yeah, she went well today. I'm sure she'll win one shortly. What's the stage so we can keep a follow? Uh, inland retreat, so, yeah, it's definitely worth following. One of how many gallopers you have on the property? Oh, I've got around 10 in work at the moment, so I've got quite a few racing at the moment. So, yeah, we'll be busy over the, the coming weeks. And in the winter, Blake, particularly when you're looking at below 3 and 4 degrees, that league must have been playing up a little bit. Yeah, no, it's not ideal leading in the winter, but, um, yeah, like I said, worse things will happen, Nick. Blake, well done with the drive on Jarl and Earl and uh, continued a, a rapid recovery. Yeah, no, thanks very much, Nick.